It looks like the moon. Look, <laughs> nice, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, how are you both coping with isolation, quarantine, lockdown? Yay. Joe Wicks and wine, basically. Joe Wicks and wine. It's a two-step progress. That's the process. That's me. That's it. That's all I need. That's all you need. Carbohydrates and gin, which I think. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Ellie, are you in particular watching the uh, videos where Joe doesn't have his top on? I mean, that's not how I feel about him, really. He's, he's my brother, as you know. I, I, of course um, he is. I of course he is. Sorry. Wicks. So that's actually quite an upsetting image, uh, quite an upsetting connotation you've brought in there, Brian. I don't appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Leave that sorry. There, thanks. Sorry. Um, sorry. Sorry. It's a bad start. It's a bad start. It's a bad start. I'm sorry. Of course, I never watch the videos of him without his top on, because um, that would be creepy and a bit weird. Um, yeah. But it's all good. So, Helen, okay. how are you? How are you dealing with all this with two children? Well, obviously, very strict routine of uh, phonics, math. And last night, I introduced them to the IT crowd, which was great. Amazing! <laughs> and a new word called uh, prostitutes. Uh, so that was good to um, uh, explain uh, that concept. Uh, so that's good family friendly show. Amazing. So I asked you what, uh, what you wanted to bake today and the response and i said something boozy and you said yeah definitely boozy so we're going for um a bit of coffee liqueur to make an espresso martini cake ah so you lost me a cake you lost me a cake i thought thought we were just making espresso martini (laughs) if you want to to, Uh, that's fine there's no judgment here I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not. I'm not very good at baking. I like cooking, but I'm not very good at baking because um, you've got to measure things and that, isn't it? So yeah. I'm going to take more of a more of a supervisory role, Brian. I, I I don't have any coffee liqueur because I actually drank it the other day. Um, so I have put Baileys in my espresso. So I, I sort of improvised with the leftover Christmas Baileys. Amazing. I love it. I love it. Very very lockdown thinking. That is Helen. Lockdown thinking. But I'm going to cook something along with you, I think, because I don't want, you know, I don't want to feel left out. So, um, I'm going to make, this is, this is, um, it's actually quite, it's actually means quite a lot to me. It's actually like a family, sort of family heirloom dish. It's one of those dishes that, you know, my mum taught me how to cook. My grandma, you know, I'm going to teach my kids. And, uh, it's actually, um, it's a packet of bacon super noodles. Um, so we're going to, yeah, wow. just going to share this family recipe with you today. Oh, well, you do that. <laughs> Helen, if you weigh out 200 grams of butter and 200 grams of sugar... On it. On it, on it. Yes. I've got myself a little weighing thing. Scale. Some people call it a scale, actually. Yeah, okay, good, good. Look, the things I'm learning today, Brian. <laughs> okay, I'm going to follow my, uh, my grandma bachelor's recipe at 300 millilitres of water. Okay, so, lovely, lovely. This is almost a full meal, Ellie. We are doing the mains and we're doing dessert. That's yeah, it. I've got measuring drugs. You should measure it out really carefully. So, uh, yeah, yeah uh, that's probably a bit much, isn't it? That's I mean, accuracy is key, okay. Ellie. Accuracy is key. It is, isn't it? What yeah. we're going to do is we're going to beat the sugar yeah. and the butter together. Okay, I just measured flour because I didn't listen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If people are following along at home with me, I don't know if you can see there, what I've actually done is I've actually put some water in a in a saucepan. Um, you, you could use a different size saucepan, um, but this is the one I've gone for today. Um, see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to whisk this water just while I'm here. Just whisk the water to make sure that's ready for the soup. That's great, yeah. In. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's good. That's a good, yeah. Is it, is it looking? How's it looking? That's looking lovely, Helen. Well, it smells great already, actually. It smells really nice. Yeah. Lovely aroma. What flavour super noodles have you gone for? Oh, bacon, bacon. I would, I would always go with either chicken or bacon, personally. Um, right, if you're okay. vegetarian, obviously that might be problematic, but I'd be willing to bet pretty much 100% there's no actual meat in super noodles. It's basically made of, it's just made of neutrons and plastic, isn't it, I think? Right, it actually says, it says suitable for vegetarians. It's got the little green, that's how much meat is in this right. bacon <laughs> super noodles. 
Amazing. Have you got one of them fancy mixers, Bryony? Is that yeah, one I got of kitchen aid, didn't I? Of course you have. Of course I do you have. make. I do bake most days, so it just makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, yeah. Do you know what makes my life a whole lot easier? Going to Greg's most days. That well, in the old days when you could go to Greg's, that okay. made my life a lot easier. Let's have a look. Wow, that's, that's, that's excellent. Excellent creaming. We're now going to add four eggs. I don't know what what you're doing at this point of your recipe, Ellie. I don't know. If so I've got the water, I've whisked the water, that's ready to go now. I'm going to put it on my cooker, I don't know if you've got a cooker, if you haven't got a cooker, um, just leave it out in the sun, whatever you look like. No. Um, I'm going to put it on the cooker, and what I'm going to do is turn the gas gas on. Um, very important at this point, and um, just a top tip from a professional chef, um, when you turn the gas on, don't put your hand in the flame. That will burn, burn your hand. And then I'm just going to leave that water to just to marinade on the hob there. Oh, that's lovely. What water have you used, Ellie? Have you got a specific water that you're using for this? The one I use is um, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Um, oh, yeah. But again, it's really up to you. You can you can you could use your own piss for all I care. I don't mind. Well, have you got any top isolation tips? Um. Oh, what am I getting into? Um. I I just oh. I just like eating, eating like most of the time. Mm. What about you, Ellie? Other than this, you know, really sort of gourmet cooking that you're into, is there anything else that you're? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to keep up the running a bit. I think that helps. But then the knees, the knees are not great. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, but my, my, my thing is really like the morning. I wake up. I don't know if you have this. I feel really full of energy, and I'm like, right, go for a run, do loads of work, Joe Wicks, all the stuff. And then by about two in the afternoon, I saw sort of want to die. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I've been doing. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot of drinking. Been getting quite into that. So you mix in it, mix in your eggs there, Helen. Yes, the eggs are, uh, eggs are well mixed, Brandy. Excellent, excellent. So now what I'd like, lovely, look at that, it's beautiful. Um, once you've mixed in your eggs, you need to mix in 150 grams of flour and 50 grams of cocoa powder. You've got that? If not, just do 200 grams of flour and it won't be chocolatey. Um, I've got cocoa powder, I'm on it. Look at that, look at that. What's going on? Where's the cocoa? Is it, wasn't it being filmed now? Is this really yeah. good? They've had to. They've had to postpone it. Oh God! I know. Crazy postponing the bake off. Yeah, I, I quite like women. Like women yeah, I quite like women too. And do you know what? Do you know what? Women can be really funny. <laughs> I think you should drink a bit less of that coffee liqueur and put it in the cake, Bryony. Uh, sorry, Ellie, sorry, this is a, probably an important step, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to open the super noodles now. The water's just coming to the boil. Um, mm -hmm. So, you could use, use a pair of scissors, that's the conventional way to do it. Um, I like to do it a bit differently. Just just get a bread knife and just... No, it's just come apart really easily. See, it's come apart really nicely like that. So that's that's about ready to go. So I'll just pop those in. The water's finished marinating, so I'll just pop it in now. I think we'd all like to know who you who you were imagining that super noodle packet was as you were chopping there, Ellie. Uh, probably the person who didn't even audition us for the bake off. How's that? <laughs> now I'm going to add some of the the coffee liqueur. So just chuck in like or your your homemade coffee liqueur, Helen. Um, yeah. Just chuck in like I mean I should probably measure it out, but I'm just going to go going to go for that. Just short. Yeah, here, let me I'm prepare. I'm going to prepare the bacon seasoning there, which I've established has absolutely zero bacon or meat products in it. I'm just going to prepare that. Bacon for vegans, Ellie. Bacon for vegans. <laughs> Vegan. Yes. That's a lovely aroma. That. That's really strong. I'm going for um, an Irish cream as well, just an extra. Oh, I think that's going to taste lovely in the in the batter. Right. So this is what mine looks like. I put it in one of these trays just because I'm going to. Um, do a little stack, but you can put it into uh, just a regular baking cake tin yeah, and okay. whack it in the oven for about, this will probably take about 15-20 minutes. Oh, it's done you slags, look at that, that's done that. Wait, nice. That, 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 that. I want that, yum. No, what I'm going to do for you now, I'm going to do a garnish for you now, Brian. So I'm going to do a garnish. So normally, I, I actually used to eat this a lot at university, and what you would do is you would get, get your noodles, and then you get like a craft cheese, do you know like the American cheese, like plastic slices, and you put that on top 
and then sort of fold it in. But I haven't got one of those because of, you know, there's a war on and all that. So just had a rummage in the fridge. What I'm going to do is I've got, I've got, I've got a cheese string here, Bryony. So Ooh. I don't know if you eat, do you eat a lot of cheese string, Bryony? Cheese string, love them. Have you ever made a cheese string cake? Uh, no, but I think I might give it a whirl. Be nice for a wedding, something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, really make, yeah. make it special. Yeah, that's right. Are you making a tree? I'm making a garnish, Bryony. I think, I think I've said that. <laughs> garnish. Sorry, Ellie, garnish. sorry. Sorry. Um, so what you do is, yeah, just, just peel it back like that and then simply place it, place the garnish uh. in the dish. Wow! In your wow. head! Wow! Honestly, yeah. that is so and, special. And again, suitable for vegetarians, so... Hey, that's protein, Ellie! Protein. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm all done. Have you still got things to do? It's a waste of a life, mate. It's a waste of a life. Is there, there's some, an icing or something we're going to put on it? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I mean, I'm not going to lie, this is actually shop-bought icing. Ooh. Um, I know, don't tell Paul. And um, yeah, basically you can, uh, it's just a regular butter icing and you add some, um, a bit of coffee, sort of, um, if you add the coffee liqueur or your own version of the coffee liqueur, please yeah. eat the garnish. Um, <laughs> and then spread it on the top. Um, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and an excuse to, um, not that we need one at the minute, but to um, have alcohol, at, you know, 10 a.m. if you need to. Oh. I mean, I feel like I've done the right thing making the cake, Ellie, but I think you've blown minds with your recipe. I've won. This was the bake off. I'd be walking away with that stupid trophy right now. I, can't, I still can't believe that's all they give you, Brian. You told us that when you come on our podcast, all you get is that plate. That yeah, bloody... that's it. That's it. Great. Well, that's what I love about Nailed It. I mean, not, not to put the bake off down. But I love at the end of Nailed It when they bring out the money guns. The money guns. <laughs> what the break off is? This is what the break off is missing. Money gun. That would be amazing. Can you imagine Prue just like that? So can you tell me, tell me for those of you who who don't know the Scummy Mummies? But I mean, I know there's only a couple of them. But for those of you who don't know the Scummy Mummies, can you tell us a bit about you guys? What what you do? Well, yeah. So technically, we're a comedy double act. Um which obviously currently is quite difficult to, to manage just as a business um, because we can't be in the same room. So that's, in terms of the double act dynamic, it's not done wonders um, for that. Um, but yeah, we, are, we have a podcast, which you've obviously been on, Bryony, you know that, um, to the exposition for the audience. Uh, you've been on the podcast. Uh, we have um, uh, Instagram and we have uh, the live show. Normally we do shows all over the UK, which again, you've been to, Bryony. I mean, how, how was it for you? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And I think I took my mum along um, and um, also my best friend. And I think it's one of those things you can just, as a woman or a man, I mean, men enjoy it as well, but I think it's just so funny because it's all so true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, I mean, if you're lucky, Ellie might eat for you on stage, as she is now, rather seductively. Helen um, exhausts her on stage in our current show, don't you, Helen? It's very exhausting, erotic. Yes, I do. We do. We do. So the, the show is sort of like a variety show. We do songs and sketches, uh, stand up. Basically, we, we sort of twat about in very tight clothing. We wear, we wear cat suits. Sometimes we just wear our undies, which I think sometimes people just applaud that, don't they, Ellie? I take off my clothes and they give me an applause. I mean, uh, who wouldn't though? Yes, I but we, 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 we're, uh, you know, we'll do anything for money, Bryony. We have been going now for seven years, and so we've got, we've amassed some very loyal fans, and we, you know, we like meeting them afterwards, and we've got a book that we sell, and we've got, we're just about to launch our merchandise shop, the Scummy Mummy Shop, so we're trying to do stuff that we didn't have time to do before. We're doing that now, kind of thing. On so, Friday nights and Tuesdays, we're doing we're doing we're, we're trying to do little sort of live shows, um, a bit like you, I suppose, but live. Um, so there's more chance for really to spring up. But it's um, uh, yeah. So we do like eight thirty Friday nights and Tuesday lunchtime at twelve on Instagram. Instagram live. We do a little live show, cat suits, you know, drinking on Fridays. Tuesdays more sort of just stupid, stupid props. We made Easter bonnets this week. That was nice. We saw them. They were superb. Superb. Genuinely, I love you guys. You guys are so funny. And I remember mum, my mum was a little bit apprehensive. She was like, oh, is it cookie? 
you know, am I going to find it funny? And she literally was nearly wetting herself as well. She, oh. it's so it's just so good. And I think one thing as well is that you don't have to be a mum to enjoy it. No. Do you know what I mean? It's. I think it, there's so much in there to to enjoy, even if you're not a mum. It's just brilliant. And uh, your songs, I think, are my favourite. And my mum, still, every time we mention the park, goes, I really fucking hate the park. Oh, it's so difficult because, yeah, that's, that's I'd say, probably our biggest hit. So we, for anyone who's not seen the show, we do a version of the, as you know, Friday, the, the Bonnie Tyler song, Totally Clips the Heart. We do um, another Crap Day at the Park. Are we, are we swearing on here? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we can swear. <laughs> so, another shit day. Oh, you're having a... You're having <laughs> a tea string, Ellie, and now Helen's having a baby bell. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. What are you uh, eating something? And it's difficult, isn't it? Because we were like, oh, well, we should record that and put that on the internet. But then is it weird at the moment to say we hate going to the park? Because it's kind of all we've got, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I know. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's just such a funny song. People will appreciate it, no matter what, to be honest with you. And every parent, I don't know a single parent who loves going to the park with their children. No. no. And uh, your dad's a bit of a star in his own right, isn't he, Ellie? Uh, yes, sadly, he's a legend in his own lifetime uh, now. So, yeah, because we put him on the Insta stories, because he's our roadie a lot of the time. He drives us around. We put him on the Insta stories because he's just inherently hilarious like he thinks he's funny and he is but not for the reasons that he thinks he's funny he's funny because he's he's mad basically <laughs> she's like hey look what she's got what she got there she got the rosé hey lads 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 <laughs> oh, just touch my face i touched my face oh no this is bad this is bad i'm gonna drink it out of the bottle that's uncouth don't drink it out of the bottle ellie that's uncouth you're not a lager lout drink it nice ellie <laughs> Amazing. So if people want to follow you, which they absolutely should, because you guys are brilliant, where can they find you? Uh, at Scummy Mummies. And that's Scummy Mummies. M-Y-M-I-I-S. That's right, Hugo. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's us. And, yeah, podcast, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And our book is still in print. You can get that from Amazon. And I, good luck in the rest of isolation. Try not to kill... Uh, any family members and um, I will see you on the other side yes thank you for having us we love you Bryony love you, love you. Oh.